Good day, my name is Christelle from France Leclerc Independent Technical Analyst. Kangachi. 10 cent is listed in Hong Kong and also a share that often um, leads NASPERS and presses on our local exchange. My MACD has changed the bearish, li bearish line, that signal line, into a resistance and that confirms the bearish trend towards 10 cent in Hong Kong. Now, that neckline on 10 cent is waiting at $328. Assuming that neckline remains a support, the optimism will be in place fairly because it's just above, above that 40-week moving average, waiting at $318. But if that neckline doesn't hold and it changes into a resistance, an ugly inverse cup and handle formation will be confirmed here that can take 10 cents a lot lower. So the conservative target for an inverse cup and handle is the length of the handle projected i don't know if it's my internet or whether it's the platform but for some reason it doesn't want to extend the lines nevertheless i don't know what is happening here i've tried a couple of times nevertheless you measure the length of the handle and project it downwards can can take us back to 257 rand dollars excuse me hong kong dollars or the full length of the cup projected downwards from the neckline can take us to 235 Hong Kong dollars. The warning of this inverse cup and handle formation will only be off the table once that upper band of the handle, and that is waiting at $385, only once that level changes into a support will the warning be off the table and we can take a sigh of relief and assume that the momentum to the top um, will continue. 40 week moving average is an important line in the sand for every share, so keep an eye on it. It's waiting at $318 on 10 cents listed in Hong Kong. ABBV, also one of the favorites on the New York Stock Exchange. There's two formations I wanted to highlight here, um, Mohammed. ABBV has got, was, okay, let's just first take this one out. ABBV is caught in a symmetrical triangle. A symmetrical triangle is, an, is, a, is a, an, a, a formation that highlights indecision. Why? When this lower band, which it's done, changes into a resistance, we can see the share a lot lower and it can become a continuation pattern to the bottom to maybe go back and test the support at, at $134. But assuming the buyers start to protect the share again and that upper band changes into a support, we can assume then a continuation pattern to the upside. So this um, uptrend that we've seen and the pause within it is a temporary pause just to continue it again to higher levels and that is waiting if I project it at $161.64. What is negative is the fact that my 40-week moving average has changed into a um, resistance and that is waiting at $151.26 which means the long-term sentiment towards ABBV is now negative. Now again we've got also here there you go. I'm not shaking like that. It is, it's not me, it's the platform. That is terrible. Nevertheless. Great. I do apologize about that. It seems that the internet is a problem. Great. Here is another formation I want to highlight, Mohammed. Again, a possible, and I'm going to call this an inverse cup and handle. Why? And not a double top. Why? Because the second loop is a little bit um, lower than that um, um, high there. And that's why I want to call it an inverse cup and handle formation, which means, again, below this neckline, and I'm going to give you that exact level, that is waiting at $145.20. Below that level, again, this full target of that cup projected downwards can go take ABB back to around $128, $129. Again, my signal line, my bearish trend has been confirmed on the MACD for ABBV. So again, symmetrical triangle, very negative. Yes, they can easily support that neckline again and bounce, maybe go back to the 40-week moving average or again that upper band, make that a false break, which means I'm gonna, going to have to extend my lower band of my triangle. But this, this is the 40-week moving has changed into a resistance. My lower band on my symmetrical triangle has changed into a resistance. I've got an inverse cup and handle formation. These are all indications, warning patterns that says try to take profit if you are in profit or 
you should have <laughs> taken profit when the share is overbought and they start you know lower highs started to appear or um, um turn around candles pfizer we received quite a few emails um from people that wanted to either buy banking shares again or pharmaceutical shares so pfizer i mean we can see right i mean from the high there we it's currently trading 38% drop in Pfizer and I want to just change this quickly to a candle graph because I, I want to highlight a couple of things this might be and I say might be because the confirmation of this pattern will only be once this upper band of <laughs> Uh, nevertheless just leave it this upper band of that bullish engulfing candle changes into a support right so a, a, a morning star formation tells us that the night is behind us and this is a turnaround pattern that can say hey hey the, the sun might rise the darkness is behind you it's a it, it's a new day my MACD is still in bearish uh, trend and confirmation. So I, my, my signal line has not changed into a support yet on the MACD. I would want that to happen. But I've got a bearish engulfing candle followed by a doji and then consequently followed by a bullish engulfing candle. So this can be a morning star formation, which highlights again a turnaround pattern. But this is a weekly graph. So this candle will only be finished by friday's close in other words theory teaches us that you should wait by the friday close if that is a morning star formation and the share is above that high of the first bearish candle and that is waiting at 38 dollars 73 then you can buy the share on the monday morning okay so that your stop loss and i'll give it the usual average true range indicator to give it some space but below 36 dollars 17 we can see more downside but keep an eye on it some of you might want to wait for confirmed higher lows right because there was also a turnaround here um that maybe hinted listen the share is turning around then it just bounces a small bit and then it retraced again so Keep an eye on this, um, ladies and gentlemen. Pfizer might have a morning star pattern by Friday's close. If this remains a bullish engulfing candle and above that bearish candle of $38.73. Don't forget to send through your requests for next week's show. Have a fantastic week. Take care.